So it's the first race of the weekend here for the Radical UK Cup at Brands Hatch. That's been for Mark Smithson on the warming up lap. He planned to start third. Let's have a look at the grid. Then Terence Woodward will be on the front row by himself because David Jacobs is in the pit. The second row is Mark Smithson there and um, Roger Bromley. On the third row is Tony Wells and Roger Green. Fourth row is Zach Chapman and Jonathan Wright. On the fifth row is Pete Osborne and James Birch. And we're about to go racing here with the Radical UK Cup. We've got a spinner in the middle of the pack before the race even got away. But we're racing. And Terence Woodward on the front row by himself leads as they head into Paddock Hill Bend. Roger Bromley's gone second. And now Roger Green looked like he was trying to come round the outside of Mark Smithson for the third. And here comes Roger Bromley darts up on the inside of Terence Woodward on the exit of the corner. He's already well ahead of him by the time they head up to Druids then. And now they turn into the corner and Terence Woodward there in second position. But he's now really falling away behind Roger Bromley. Now this battle of a second is designed to watch. Because Roger Bromley falling away here in these tricky conditions. And that's Roger Green. I think come round the outside. We've got a spin there. I think that's from Andy Cummins in the number six machine. The leaders though head down the Cooper Straight. Well, Roger Bromley's over in Deserties. It's battle of a second. Heads in Deserties. I think Terence Woodward leads that one. Just about from Mark Smithson, I think, leading the SR3 class. Now, it through clear ways they go then. And that car still sitting there uh, next to the pit wall. Roger Bromley passes him to complete the first lap of the race. And his lead is huge as well. Three wide for about third position there. That's Mark Smithson, just in third. Fourth is Roger Green, but Roger Green up on the inside. He takes third. And now, here comes David Forbender trying to take the lead of the class. A sideways is Roger Green there. They're all coming back past him now. So, I think it's David Forbender leading the SR3 class. It is from Mark Smithson. Roger Bromley then leads. He hands into Graham Hill Band. Terence Woodward still in second position. Then David Forbender leading the um, SR3 class. And the safety car is about to come out. We're about to get a replay. Let's see what we got then. We've got James Abbott here. Then we're on board him. We're alongside Andy Cummings there. Then he decides to duck underneath and he doesn't want to go for the 2x2 two two rolling start. And then we see the spinner. I think that is James Birch then. He's out of the race. As is Neil Bamford. So we had two retires. It's one of those two. We're back on board there with James Abbott for another replay. That's Andy Cummings in front. And there he goes. And he spins away that position. Let's see what else we can see on board with James Abbott on this first lap. And it was Mano Alas that lost it. There he goes onto the grass. Now we can go back on board with Roger Bromley for the restart here at Brands Hatch. And uh, the side by side almost for the SR3 between David Forburn and Mark Smith. We're back away then. And Roger Bromley leads again from Terence Woodward. Now all over the back of him. Terence Woodward on slicks while Roger Bromley on the wet tyres. That's why he has so much pace on that first lap. Because he had all the grip. But as the track gets drier that may well cause a problem. Zach Chapman there passes Mark Smith. And as they head up into Druids then. So Jack Chapman, the 2010 Toyota MR2 champion, racing the SR8 for the first time. Now he's all over the back of David Forburn. He looks up on the inside as they come down to Graham Hill Bend. And he goes into third position then. So a great move there from the um, 7.15 Motor Club Toyota MR2 champion. As they head now through 30s. Then McLaren for the sixth time. And then they turn through clearways there. Now Zach Chapman clawing right up onto the back now of Terence Woodward. I think Zach Chapman's another person on wet tyres here. So, and yes, look, as you see him going on the wet patches down the Brabham Strait as they now break down into Paddock Hill Bend. And Mark Smithson there just had a Roger Green. Roger Green, another driver in there. That's all right, and off goes Terence Woodward then. He was second position, but through the gravel trap he goes. So the slick tyres not giving him the grip he wants at the moment. So, now they head, the leaders head down, Graham Hill under Graham Hill, begs that Chapman, closing in on Roger Bromley now, there's hardly anything between the cars, after that first lap, there was one and a half seconds, but Zach Chapman is now right behind the race leaders, they head down into 30s, and Bromley standing front, we're on board now, with Roger Bromley looking back at Zach Chapman in the number 28, Radical SR8, they head through clearways, they put the power on now, Zach Chapman is right in the slipstream now, now we go to the tighter line on the exit of Clark Curve. They head now across the line to complete the set lap. Just a quarter of a second between the two cars. And now breaking down into Paddock Hill Bend. Through the corner they go. And again, there's absolutely no to tell the two leaders. They cl climb up the hill now behind the trees. Meanwhile, look, they have three battle together. And that's um, David Jacobs coming past Mark Smithson there. And now Zach Chapman gets the cut back on Roger Bromley. That goes side by side. Down into Graham Hill. Right around the outside goes Zach Chapman to take the race lead. So in his first ever radical race, he leads the way, does Zach Chapman. So they head now into 30s for another time. The eighth lap of the race they're on now. Now breaking now down into clearways. And already getting away, Zach Chapman. Now in third position is... Uh, 
Pretend it's Wood Ward, I think, once again, or is it still David Forbo? We'll have to have a look when they cross the line. So it's Chapman leading from Bromley. It is David Forbo now in third, but Terence Woodward with the V8 power draws up alongside to take third position as they cross the line. So into third goes Terence Woodward, and he is now only a right behind Roger Bromley. So this is the battle between the two championship contenders. Diving on the outside there goes Terence Woodward. Can he get right round the outside here? So they turn round the hairpin. No, he can't. But he's going to try and cut back just like Zach Chapman did. The cars are now almost side by side. But Roger Bromley managed to stay in front then. The SL3 leader right behind of David Forburn. As now they head through. Graham Hill went down the Cooper straight. They go then. Roger Bromley just ahead of Terence Woodward. They head through 30s. Then they do McLaren, then break down. Need a clear way to try going round the outside. There is Terence Woodward. Can't quite, or oh, he's got lots of traction there on the outside line. He's trying to draw up alongside Roger Bromley. He cannot do that though. And Zach Chapman is really getting away at the front. And they come across the line. Once again, Terence Woodward right round the outside, but yellow flags there. And so I think Andrew Ferguson it is in the gravel. He's just getting out of the car as the leaders come. Oh, this battle for second comes through. Late on the brakes, it's David Jacobs as he dies up inside. And contact with Roger Bromley. Bromley into the gravel trap. I'm sure David Jacobs is in there as well. So what's that happened now to second? It's, I think, Roger Green there in second now. Is it? Or is it Forburn even in second. Third is Green. Fourth is Woodward. So he must have got, had to back out with all that because David Jacobs was flying up along on the inside line. So now into 30s they go. And it is just... David Forman, but it's a lot quicker out the corner there. As now they power down the straight. The two with V8 power power SR8, so managed to draw up alongside and pass David Forman. So it's Roger Green here versus Terence Woodward into Paddock Hill Bend as the recovery of Andrew Ferguson's car continues. Now they climb up Hayward Hill. Then they will break down for Druids, where the yellow flags are. And it's so... This, we've got that was six car scrap or so coming down into Graham Hill Bend. So we've got Roger Green ahead of Terence Woodward, who sits in that third position. And now, who's 30. Now, they, um, Zach Chapman has got a 10 second lead when they crossed the line last time. So he's going really well in his SR8. Now, here's the battle for SR3. David Forbo just ahead of Mark Smithson. David Forbo to hand over to Rod. Um, to Rob Weldon, while Max Smithson will hand over to Stuart Mosley in the half time period. And now, Terence Woodward trying to go round the outside again for Haddock Bend, but they're still recovering the car, so he's going to have to sit behind Roger Green, but he tries to come up along in inside. But again, he sees yellow flags for Druids, so he'll have to stay behind Terence Woodward for another time. So now, make their way out of Druids. And again, Roger Green getting a really good exit there, and behind still David Forward just having to hold off. Mark Smithson as they break into Graham Hill Bend. Here they are. They put the power on down the Cooper Street. And then still in second there is Roger Green. And they now make their way through McLaren and breaking down into Clearways. They will be about to la um, complete the 12th lap of the race. And Zach Chapman's been stuck in a bit of traffic that time. So a slower lap from him. So they almost completed the Andrew Ferguson recovery now. And in the battle of a second, it is still Roger Green ahead of Terence Woodward. Now they're only seven seconds behind Chapman now. So they're starting to close him up again. Woodward's looking up on the inside as they head into Drew Ridge. They're almost completed the recovery of the um, two radical SR8s there. Now, nose to tell for second there. This is Roger Green and Terence Woodward. They go into Great Hill Bend and quicker through the corner there was Roger Green. So he stays in that position. Now they're about to have that to lap the uh, 34 car, which has got, I think, James Sims at the wheel at the moment. Jack Chapman completes the 13th lap. And then Terence Woodward and Roger Green both flapped that car now. And now in, in the two. Uh, Paddock Hill Bend they go. Now they're only six seconds behind Zach Chapman. They climb the way up the hill. Now David Formberg lost two positions on that lap because Mark Smithson now leads the SR3 class and into second in that class has gone Tony Wells. We've got a replay coming up here which we just watched about for a second. Here's the replay. This is how Zach Chapman has to take the lead then. A great exit to um, 
uh, out of Druids, and he then managed to make his way round the outside to lead. We go back to the action then, and here's the battle of a second still. Roger Green still ahead of Terence Wood. What does they break into, Graham, uh, into clear way for another time? And uh, Zach Chapman then powers across the line, and then side by side almost. Uh, as I see David Forbud loses another place, yes, because round the outside there went James Abbott. So James Abbott gains a position there. As Terence Woodrow tries to come right round the outside again, and Roger Green into Paddock Hill Bend. But he still cannot find a way through. Now he goes up on the inside for Druids. This may well give him the position. Let's see as they exit the corner. We've got a replay coming up in a second. Roger Green still there in second, but they're really catching up with Zach Chapman now. So here's our replay then. This is, I think, the um, crash at Druids. Let's see what happened then. So David Jacobs is behind Terence Woodward and behind David Forman at this point. He dives up on the inside there at Terence Woodward and then hits Roger Bromley way too fast in the corner there was David Jacobs. Put both the cars out. Now, here we go then. Back to the action. Zach Chapman is very soon going to come under pressure for this second position. So head down into 30s. Or in for the lead even. Of course, Zach Chapman is in at the moment and they're uh, just lapping the car of Andy Cummings there uh, up on the inside there goes Roger Green then Terence Wood will, will do the same now those wet tyres really not working for Zach Chapman and I think he's coming to the pit lane he has so into the lead down goes Roger Green so they complete the 15th lap of the race so heading through Paddock Hill Bend then the two leaders in at third is Mark Smithson. Really got a big lead in the class now. About three seconds or so. As you see there, Zach Chapman in the pit lane. And now into the pits then. For the pit stop comes James Abbott to hand over to Alex Brundle. The Formula 2 driver. And I think we've got another replay coming up. Let's see what we have. This is probably the outside view. You can see David Jacobs starting to make his way up on the inside. Way too late onto the brakes for Druids. And now we can see Alex Brundle on circuit now. Chasing after um, the 34 machine of Matchell. He's right behind him now. He's trying to lap him in fact. Um, Alex Brundle running in third position. Second in class. Stuart Mosley in the class up on the inside. He comes and he chops him off. It's not Matchell actually. It's a 27 car of Nick Pantelli. So, Nick Pantone, teammates with David Jacobs, um, chops off Alex Brundle there into Surtees. And Alex Brundle's not too impressed <laughs> there with the marshals. He wants the blue flags to be waved because he is lapping this car of Nick Pantelli. It sits in 11th position. So, Alex Brundle trying to close in with Stuart Mosley. He's only about five seconds behind. We've got another car on the gravel. That car having to be recovered. Onto the brakes and we go for Druids. And trying to come around the outside now with the back marker is Alex Brundle. But he just cannot find a way through. So now they make their way down to Granville Bend. Still patch, uh, wet patches on the circuit. But certainly slick tyres are what all these riding cars have got on at the moment. Only 13 cars actually still running in the race. Terence Woodward leading the way. Um, second in that class is Phil Abbott, and third is Manhau Alos. But the SR3 class um, has been led by Stuart Mosley, who took over from Mark Smithson. Second on board car here, Alex Brundle, who took over from James Abbott. Third is James Littlejohn, who took over from Tony Wells. And fourth in the class is Alex Capardio, we're right behind the back marker now. We're heading to Paddock, who burned. This is all under yellow flags. We've got another car to be lapped. I think that is the car of John Wilkins up on the inside here over Nick Pantelli. Finally, has gone Alex Brundle. But he's been behind now for over a lap. And now he almost goes into the back there of the slower SR8 of John Lord. But he managed to get past him. Now we've got another replay. They see Andrew Ferguson in the gravel. So yellow flags all the way up here. And then David Jacobs. Way too late on the brakes and into the gravel they both went. And the two cars are sitting in the gravel trap. Hand gestures from David Jacobs. And I'm not surprised, very unhappy Roger Bleak with all that. Anyway, across in the line to complete the race then is Alex Brundle. He will finish in third position. And let's have a look at the results. And Terence Woodward won by nine seconds by the end of the race to Mark Wilson and Stuart Mosley. They won the class by about six seconds to Alex Brundle and James Abbott. In fourth was Tony Wells and James Listron. They were third in class. Fifth was Phil Abbott and Roger Green. They finished 
third in their class. Sixth was Manuel Alves. Seventh was Pete Osborne and Alex Zapardio. In eighth was Andy Cummings and Bradley Ellis. Ninth was David Forburn and Rob Weldon. In tenth were Jonathan Wright and Tom Ashton.